Hello, good people of YouTube. Mount Batten here. And today, I have finally picked up a long requested unique commander to look over, and that is the one, the only, Andrew Cunningham. Now, this man has been pumped up quite a bit. It's been, shoot, I think uh, for the last three or four months, I've had someone in my comment section or in chat asking, hey, you get Cunningham yet? You get Cunningham yet? You get Cunningham yet? You should really pick up Cunningham. It's been at least, uh, say, quite a large group of individuals asking about him, but today I finally got around to picking him up. Of course, he is available for Cole, and I, of course, review premium ships and such that get released into the game, and I've been having to save that Cole for Cole ships, but I went ahead and picked him up today, and we're going to go over him in this video. Before we get going, just a reminder that I will be at the Carrier Con event that's being hosted at the USS Hornet over in the Bay Area in California. If you'd like to see IRL Sea Lord, you can catch me there. And it looks like it's going to be a great event. I've been talking with the guys behind the scenes. They're putting a lot of work and effort into this event. So you can catch me there on the weekend of, the, I believe it's the 16th through the 18th. So you can catch me there, IRL, if you're in the Bay Area. And guys, if you wouldn't mind, if you find yourself enjoying this video, make sure you drop a like and leave a comment before you click off it. It helps out with the YouTube side of things. So, Cunningham. Let's go over him real quick, his stats, then we'll talk about um, how he does in battle. So he is available for 175,000 coal, so a pretty costly uh, commander, as well most of them are. So, uh, they say with his talents, you, your equipment spoils. This is a talent that gets popped when you get two kills. What it does, it gives you one additional charge of each consumable. Now, if you think about the British ships, I mean, of course, with the battleships when you're on, like, a Conqueror, which is what I have them on for the background footage. By the way, I don't know if the game saw that I dumped 175,000 coal into a commander, and then I put my blue boosters on my XP and my and my commander XP um, earnings because I want to get them up to 20, you know, 21 points as fast as possible. I had, like, the worst set of games after this. I played for, like, three hours trying to get a, a, a half-decent match, and, oh guess it's just the way matchmaking goes sometimes so anyway so uh obviously with ships like the conqueror you get another charge of that super heal which i mean yes i would like to be able to print back my ship a fifth time yes please then of course with the dds you get an extra charge of the hydro with the smoke uh, then with the oh, and, and the heals as well for like the daring then cruisers same thing think about the goliath you get another charge of that super heal another charge of their consumables very 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 useful skill here now it doesn't say if it applies to the plane squadrons normally they do uh, make sure that that's clarified in the description so i don't think it applies to the squadrons consumables for your aircraft but still excellent excellent talent right there his next talent is lightning fast so this is activated when you cause four instances of flooding to enemy ships. It gives a boost to the squadron speed by 5% and a boost to your ship speed by 5% as well. Again, thinking about the Daring. Daring is already a really good DD and one that I'm about to start rounding up the line for. So another 5% boost to your top speed is excellent. Well, with, with any DD, that's excellent. And then, of course, squadrons getting another 5% boost to your uh, squadron speed is good as well. Now, with the Goliath or like any of the, the cruisers, light cruisers or heavy cruisers, um, sure, that's a nice boost right there. But the um, British cruisers aren't really known for their speed. But again, more speed is fine as well. So... Again, you know, nice boost to your Minotaur's top speed, your Goliath's top speed, anything that has torpedoes. You know, fl flooding isn't... It, it's... I don't want to say it's easy to cause. It's probably going to get um, applied to a ship that you hit with torpedoes. Unless you hit them right in the torpedo protection. But hitting them is the hard part. The roll for it to actually start flooding normally is pretty generous. Unless RNG just hates you, like matchmaking hate me, hated me for these background matches. Then his third talent is Ruthless. Now, this is activated when you get the Witherer achievement. Witherer is when you apply 60,000 
fire damage to an enemy ship. Now, 60,000 HE damage, that would be a little bit too easy to pop, but 60,000 fire damage. And think about the British lines. The battleships have excellent HE. The battle cruisers have pretty good HE as well. Uh, the heavy cruisers have darn good HE. Uh, the DDs, I mean, their DDs, they're pretty spammy. But typically, like with the British DDs, you typically use the AP more against like other destroyers and stuff. But they definitely have the the RPM to set quite a few fires. So on an, on the whole scale of the British tech tech lines, pretty easy thing that's pop here, at least on paper. So what this does, you get a 10% boost to your main battery reload time, a 10% boost to your torpedo tube reload time, and a 10% boost to your aircraft preparation time. That's uh, not difficult to pop, and that's a pretty good boost right there. Think about playing St. Vincent. And you, you <laughs> the St. Vincent can already get its guns down to ridiculously low reload time with the proper build. Like if you if you go full tilt into it um, with the, the reload mod, adrenaline rush, and then um, what is it, ruthless or fearless, whatever it is, when the, the skill where you're on fire, you get a boost to your gun's reload time, and then you have this ruthless on top of it. Oh, 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 oh. that is the the potential for some dumb reload times on those 18 inch guns also think about things like conqueror or thunder if you have them how easy it is to pop this it it was pretty easy to get this to pop um granted i only had it had it once but i know you, you probably didn't see it you said it was easy to pop but you only did it once yeah but the matches i had uh, didn't really have the time to set enough fires to get 60,000 fire damage but when i did have the time it wasn't hard to do because again conqueror is conqueror then you get 10 percent boost to your reload time there and with conqueror with ar uh shoot i had i think it was like an 18 second reload in my conqueror i was on the lower third of my hp 18 second reload in conqueror with conqueror's guns with conqueror's he and conqueror's ap yeah that's um that's pretty good so again think about well you can't do this with minotaur unfortunately <laughs> That'd be a little bit too much. But again, like Goliath, not hard to do on Goliath. The DD is not hard to do with the DD guns. Well, not just Goliath, but the whole heavy cruise line. You guys know what I mean. So, yeah. Overall, his talents, they're not difficult to pop. Which, um, if you look at a lot of other commanders, theirs are, you know, typically... We got, you know, like Yamamoto on the end where you got to get a crack and to get the most out of him. And then we have, like, Kustazov on the other end where you just have to almost die to get the most out of him. Um, Cunningham's, I'd say, right in the middle with how difficult it is to get his talents to pop. Again, two kills, that's not difficult to do, really. Again, especially in a ship like Conqueror with its HE or Goliath or any of the heavy cruisers with its HE. I mean, of course, fires are pretty brutal. So... Yeah, I'd say he's right in the middle in terms of how hard it is to actually pop his talents. Now, his skills that he has, his enhanced skills. So, he has an, an improved aircraft armor skill, which gives you 11.5% damage reduction. And then his consumable specialist gives you a 12.5% reduction to their cooldown time. Now, obviously, aircraft armor with the British CVs, you know, that's great. The consumable specialist, um, the British battleships don't typically have too many consumables, like, at high tier, it's really just Thunderer with its DFAA, but because of the improved heal that they have, uh, yeah, they don't really have many other options. Now, of course, like, the battle cruisers, that's a different story, and you, you know, you can get a little bit more out of it there, but for the destroyers, great pickup. So, I mean, think about it. The, it gets a 12.5% boost to the, um, the spotting aircraft, which I don't know why they even mentioned that, because right now, no DD can pop that, because <laughs> they don't have it. Um, the DFAA and main battery re reload boost. Actually, no, it's, it's pretty pointless on the destroyers, too, now that I'm looking at it, so it doesn't apply to, like, the smoke and such. I guess that would be a little bit too much. So, yeah. Hmm. I guess that's really meant for the cruisers, then, with uh, Cunningham. So, yeah, that's weird. That's weird that that skill doesn't apply to like the uh, smoke screen stuff. I I don't I don't only use it in relation to British ships because of what I just said. I mostly battleships and battleships don't really 
have consumables on the British line except for the battle cruisers. So yeah, then yeah, yeah, so it's kind of mid there with the consumable specialist. Again, you get a little bit of use of, of it out of the cruisers and you know one or two of the premium ships and then the battle cruiser line, but yeah. So in battle, I mean, well, obviously, I mean, he's a commander. Besides, of course, mounting the uh, skills and such, which I had a 15-point build on him because that's all I had sitting around in Elite Commander XP and Free XP for. So that definitely didn't help with the matches that I got playing him. But yeah, like I said, his, his talents aren't overly difficult to pop. Uh, equipment spoils is great on Conqueror. And... The match that you should start it out watching, we might roll over into two, I'm not, not sure how long we're going to uh, be, be here for, but in the first match, I got two kills relatively quickly, I had five heals ready to go, and that's, again, in Conqueror, five heals is amazing with that super heal. Imagine playing Goliath or Minotaur, and you get another charge of, like, radar with Minotaur, another charge of smoke with... Uh, with uh, Minotaur, depending upon how you want to build into it. Same thing with, again, Goliath, Daring, any of the ships. That, that's that's great. It's not overly difficult to get. It's not like some of the other commanders where you have to get, uh, what is it, First Blood in order to pop that. So that's pretty cool. You can get that at any time. Just finish off a low-health ship or find another low-health ship, finish them off. There you go. Get another charge of all your consumables. I really like that skill. Ruthless. Again, really easy to do in most of the British ships. So, overall, I'd say he's a really good commander and one that should be picked up. Is he the best commander ever, as some have uh, have pumped him up to be? I wouldn't say he's the best, but he's definitely high up there on the list for me. Um, at the top would be like Lucian's, then Halsey, and then Kustazov would probably be... Ooh, Kustazov, actually, I think he would be like tied with Halsey, a little bit above Halsey. Then it would be Cunningham. Um, just going off the top of my head right now. He's definitely would be within like my, my top five best unique commanders for sure. I can imagine a, a daring with this dude would probably be quite, quite, uh, quite good. And again, hopefully I'll be in a daring here pretty soon. So guys, that's my Cunningham review. A guy that I would definitely recommend pick up, but especially if, I mean, look at like the British tech tree now. We have so many lines. We've got Battleship, Battle Cruiser, Heavy Cruiser, Light Cruiser, DD, Aircraft Carrier. We're getting submarines for them pretty soon, so you have plenty of ships for this guy to go on. And, of course, the British, I think after like the Americans or the Germans, I think the British have like the third most premium ships in the game. So plenty of ships to go on there with Cunningham here. So guys, that's my two cents on the Cunningham. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful Wednesday. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like and leave a comment. And hope to catch you guys in the next one.